It is the right thing to do is make yourself a little PUBG mode, make yourself a battle royale mode. Here's where this gets complicated. Uh, Fortnite is developed by Epic Games, who makes the Unreal Engine. PUBG runs on the Unreal Engine. Uh, Bluehole, uh, who has been developing PUBG, uh, has been in contact with Epic Games, and like Epic's been helping them work this engine to make this game. Bluehole got mad. Bluehole said, uh, hey, you didn't warn us about this. You didn't tell us you were doing this. Publicly said, we might have to look into further actions. Uh, has been doing interviews. Uh, I was just reading the one with PC Gamer, which was like a follow-up, and that's the one I want to focus more on because I think the easy way to go about this discussion is just saying, like, they're not... They're not saying no one else can make a battle royale mode. That's not what they're saying. They're particularly particularly mad at Epic Games. Mm. And it was from that article that I was reminded that uh, Grand Theft Auto Online has that oh, mode okay. because they brought that up by name. They were like GTA did it, and we didn't say anything. You yeah, know, like other exactly. people have it's, copied it's us. It's that Jones, and that's where they're coming from. Uh, and so uh, <laughs> I want to start this conversation by just asking the panel: Should Epic Games, who makes the Unreal Engine, make games? Is that a conflict of interest? No, because they, like, studios make their own engines and make games. Like, Gorilla did Decima or whatever, what's it called? Yeah, it's mm-hmm. Decima engine, yeah. yeah. So, oh, yeah, I mean, there's tons of it. But, I mean, yeah, the, so, the, I mean that's the, just one example. The difference is that Epic is, like, this huge, yeah, license. Right, like, you and I could make an Unreal Engine game right now. Yeah. You know, yeah. they just license it out to everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, but is that unfair? Is it unfair for them to make their own like PUBG mode or their own battle? Does battle that count? Right that's now. a helicopter. That that's a helicopter. That's a helicopter. Doesn't count. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I do feel like almost like those divisions probably shouldn't be talking to each other. But I don't know. That's the thing. It's like there's a lot of assumptions toward like, oh, because of this, then they must have done this. But it's been so long since PUBG came out that like. I don't know. It's like it it's hard long? for me to it say. It came out this year. It came out in March. Right, but I mean, it, it's it's not that hard to like put that into a game like Fortnite. I don't think. So it's to me, it's it's like it, it could look bad, but it doesn't necessarily mean that like that's what happened. That they like, oh, we see this while you're working on your game, mm-hmm. and then you know immediately start putting it in Fortnite. It's like we got to copy this right away. You know, they they. They probably didn't even think about it Mm. until it blew up. Yeah, what's the... Like anybody else is doing. What's the protocol there? Like, okay, so I'm Epic and I'm giving my engine to a company. Do I know everything they're doing with the engine? Like, do you... Are they... Is the company responsible to, like, check in? Because if if you're you're Epic and you have that, like, knowledge, then that seems kind of suspicious. So if you you see everyone out there using it and you see their progress and their creative work. Yeah, dude. This is is where it gets fun. (laughs) Okay. Huber, this is where it gets complicated. (laughs) Okay. And this is where we better call Hogue. Better okay. call. Better Hogue. call. Hogue. Yeah. So Rick Hogue again. He's okay. Sponsor of this show. Hogue Law is a sponsor of this very program. Uh, we call upon Rick Hogue when we're in over our head in legal mumbo jumbo. Mm-hmm. And so there's a situation is that yeah we don't think that it's defensible a mode, but the the complicated relationship with Epic and Blue Hole makes this weird. Jones, you talked to Hogue directly about this, right? I did. It, it, it wor- I mean, just to talk up Hogue, it, it's yeah. worth mentioning that this was in a casual email exchange between myself and Hogue regarding, yeah. you know, other things that we're working on here at Easy Allies. And uh, just at the bottom of an email, I was like, oh, by the way, what do you think about this blue hole epic thing? Uh-huh. And I got this back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this is actually condensed. This is condensed. This from is what like he a, said. a third of what he said. It's yeah, yeah, like yeah. bullet notes and all of this stuff. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I, when I replied to him, I was like, yeah. Hogue, this is longer than preview scripts I've read for Easy Allies. And he was like, oh, stop. It's like, no, I, I'm not going to stop. This is insane. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Jones, can you read us what, what Rick Hogg said to us? I will be glad to. Cool. Uh, keep in mind that this is all speculative and application based on Mr. Hogue's experience, not on whatever may be the true facts right, of right, the situation. Right. We're just guessing. This is all conjecture. Yeah. The fact that the two companies have a relationship makes their threats a great deal more potent than they might otherwise be, their threats being blue holes. Mm-hmm. But they still don't have a great case for winning, unless they can expressly tie Fortnite to PUBG in some way that is not immediately apparent based on only what we presently know. So, why would Blue Hole even rattle the saber? 
My best guess is that they're creating a leverage point to reduce what are now very substantial fees owing to Epic as royalties. Mm. If they can even plausibly claim that they can gum up Fortnite sales and cost Epic six figures or more in legal fees, then maybe Epic drops that royalty to 4.5 or 4%. Love With this 10 stuff. million wow. plus <laughs> copies sold, Whoa. there's a lot of money on the line. And where there's a lot of money, there's incentive for all sides to re-examine any leverage they may have with their contract partners. In short, that's why you always need a good business lawyer at your side. <laughs> nice. Suck nice. it in. We'll allow it. We'll allow it. <laughs> Final note. While perhaps a bit uncouth, I do not believe there is any standing for Blue Hole to complain about Epic stating that Fortnite Battle Royale is just like PUBG. Competitors are allowed to reference each other. The reason you see better than the leading brand rather than a direct reference in other contexts is to avoid giving free advertising to competitors, not because the advertising company is not permitted to do it. That said, there may be a licensing term covering there may be a license term covering advertisements of this type, but it seems far more unlikely than those discussed above. Mm -hmm. And I think that's to just add on to what he said. Yeah, please do. I, I think there's a lot we don't know. I don't want to make yeah. declarative statements about I, you know. Epic should have done this. This is all just based on opinion. Mm -hmm. The one thing that does surprise me is them being irked about that. And them being like, they mentioned us on their advertising. Right. Yeah. Because like they so very clearly in the video, it's the it's only in one video. It was mm -hmm. right when they introduced it. And I think it's so obvious what they're doing, copying this mode, calling it Battle Royale, that like I kind of liked that language. I kind of liked Epic coming up and being like, we're big fans. Like, yes. we, we like this. Name, you know, bringing them up by name. It's like right. being like, hey, if you haven't checked this out, maybe go check out the original first mm -hmm. before you check out our mode. You can see what inspired us and what we like. I, I think it's we for all the other points that they're bringing up and all the other things that they're frustrated about. It seems odd to me that they were like the way Epic should have done this is to not mention us at all. And it's like, well, then that that seems weirder to me. That seems more shady. Yeah. To be like, hey, check out our new mode. Wink, wink. It's like it's so clearly who you took that from. And then if they didn't mention it, and we're going through the paperwork and be like, wait a minute, that's on Unreal Engine. That's super weird. You're not even addressing it or mentioning it on Twitter or something. And it wasn't like some slogan guy being like, based on the popular PUBG. It was one of the directors, one of the creative leads behind Fortnite on camera, casually yeah. being like, it's what do you so say? clear what the connection each one, is. We love battle royale modes like you see in H1Z1, H1Z1 and, and PUBG. And PUBG. We love those games. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. why we did this. Hubert, does, does PUBG have, do you think they have a reason to be threatened or do you kind of, do you like the Hogue theory that maybe they just want to like gain a little thing, ba something back from Epic? <laughs> I love that theory. Because that's kind of what I think it is. game of cat and mouse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Fortnite, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think it's anywhere near going to get the popularity. But this will help it. I yeah. think this will be it'll, the most popular help. mode of Fortnite. Sure, yeah, Does sure, it, it'll help it, but it's... Like, immediately when this happened, I saw so many people coming out saying, like, oh, this is so good for Fortnite, like, yes. drumming up controversy and everything. Uh -huh. I feel like that's it's also good for PUBG. It's... How? Like, but, uh, exposure, it's, it's, I mean. Yeah, like, free, are, it's a free-to-play. No, you go in, you try it in Fortnite, and then it's like, oh, I'll, maybe I'll get PUBG, see yeah. what the other thing so is like. Yeah. People are talking about PUBG also. Sure. Like, yeah, it's kind of bad press in the sense that like maybe people are kind of like negative on how they they're coming out and handling it but it's still you know out in the open it's like a people, well demo. that's it that's yeah. a negative yeah. for blue hole <laughs> that saying. they are it, introducing people that play PUBG mm -hmm. to this other game you know directly True. pointing yeah. at this other game that i saw a lot of people on social media being like fort what's fort i'll check it yeah. out yeah and it's like i don't know if that's the reaction because that's the thing it's crazy they put out a press release it's crazy yeah. they put out a press release about how disappointed they are that epic games is doing that yeah and and so yeah i kind of i i like I kind of get the perspective of oh they want to just put pressure on Epic or or, or something mm -hmm. they want something that's out of this uh, that isn't apparent. It's, obviously, I don't think they want to shut down clones, but I th do think that it is something particular about that relationship. Are they intimidated by Epic's size? I want Huber. I you want know, to get is into there intimidation? Is there intimidation there? Like PUBG is huge right now, but it's still relatively small thing obviously it's blowing up it's like the biggest thing on I've, earth right no now no one's ever mentioned fortnite but in like, any press conference i've ever watched but like epic games mm -hmm. That's not true. is a huge company yeah. so are they like is there intimidation i want to get into this huber because this is really exciting to me actually. and like and, and a huge uh -huh. company like this doing like fortnite doing it is like breaking down the barrier for other games to do it like oh, is yeah. ghost recon wildlands gonna do it, it that is. seems like yes. good Count probably that yeah. seems yeah. like well, that would be smart uh, for Jones, i was that. thinking of the game awards it was announced at the game awards fortnite oh okay yeah yeah yeah. I was but i mean like a pre that. that's that's yeah, like yeah. a yeah mm -hmm. it's a little more of like a marketing event than like an actual like a company like sony or you know microsoft or nintendo coming out and being like hey here's stuff we really want to showcase on our systems mm -hmm. yeah uh, even like a pc gaming show